Another Nashville staple preparing to close its doors after decades in business. News Channel 5's Jonkel Newland sat down with one couple today to see what's next for the owners of the Mad Platter. And Ruben's going to sell with a burger, okay? The saying goes, busy, busy. If it's too hot, always busy. Stay out of the kitchen. Shrimp and grits, hot with some fresh pecorino cheese. For sous chef Vince Barbie, his reality is exactly the opposite. Been good to me. For the last few years, the kitchen at the Mad Platter has become his home away from home. But come the end of this year, the sizzling sounds of something cooking. I love it here. Will go silent. But. Craig got to do what he have to do. We put plenty of time in here, and then we started just feeling like we wanted to do something different. Craig and Marsha Jervis's love for each other and their business began in the 80s. Catering is what started it all. Within a few years, they found themselves at the corner of Six and Monroe in Germantown. But you got to understand, you look around here and run, oh gosh, nothing like this. I mean, that didn't exist across the street. That was an empty maybe lot. maybe three or four cars parked here, and one of them probably had a broken window. <laughs> The Mad Platter became one of the first owner-operated, chef-driven restaurants in Nashville. We owned the restaurant, we ran the restaurant, we created the menu, and we ex executed the menu. And washed dishes. And then we washed dishes afterwards. <laughs> but after 27 years of hard work, they're ready for some time off. While it's not exactly clear who's going to be taking over this historic building just yet, one thing the Jervises know for certain is that when they leave on New Year's Eve, they're not coming back. For Barbie, it means change is coming. I have to feed my family, so we have to move on. Truth be told, everything just moves on. You just have your moments, and if your moment stretches out, you know, a little bit longer, then aren't you fortunate? In Germantown, Junkwell Newland, News Channel 5. After taking some time off, the Jervises do plan to continue the Mad Platter catering business wherever they end up. The last day the restaurant will be open is on New Year's Eve.